Michael, we're here in Dundonald Cemetery this morning. This is the third grave to be unveiled on the, the, the Dunfield Graves project. Can you tell us a bit about how this one came about, please? Yes, well, Johnny Jamison, who obviously does a lot with the, the military side of the, the uh, ex-players, um, he, he notified me um, of the Johnny Houston's grave. So uh, he had seen it a couple of years ago and it was in really bad condition. So uh, we done a bit of a hunt and say there's a tree actually just beside us there, which you, you'll, you'll, you can see um, it was probably worse than that there, the grave, I mean nothing like what it is now, it was totally totally covered with, with trees and moss and everything else. Can I tell us a wee bit about John Houston? Yes, well, see, he was, I mean, amazing football career and, and a military career, um, some man for one man as to say, he uh, he played for the Blues 1911 um, to, well, about 1919, a couple of years he was at Everton, and uh, but while he was there he, he played for Ireland as well, um, Ireland, as you probably know, in the home international has always got a hammering. Um, basically, um, we were catching up from the other home nations. But in 1913, uh, Johnny was on the team and they beat England for the very first time, um, which was, was, was quite quite special. But say that the year after, 1914, then he went one better. Not only did the, the, the beat England, but they won the British Championship. So that was the first time, um, which in fact it's the only time Ireland has outright out won, won it. Um, obviously, they've won it twice as Northern Ireland since. But uh, that was the footballing career. He won eight, eight uh, winners medals with, with Linfield, um, and then say, in between he, he went to war and uh, became a war hero. Um, he won the military medal um, in 1917, uh, uh, 1915. And uh, his brother Leslie, who also played for Linfield, he had uh, he'd been killed uh, in the war. So say, it must have been quite quite a thing for him. Um, I mean, being a super football superstar going to war. Knowing your older brother, who was probably his hero, had been killed in similar circumstances. You know, he held, he held all his officers uh, were put out of action, and he he took charge of the platoon and he held it for I think 36 hours until help arrived. So he got the military medal um, for, for bravery for that. Mega, just one final thing. Obviously, these restorations cost a bit of money. So tell us a few bit about the fundraising involved. Yes, well, see, we, we touched on it the last time. Again, we don't like to go out with a bag and bowl. So uh, say well nothing to just to keep everything up up front or whatever i mean the three graves so far is just over two thousand pound it's cost us which is quite a lot of money um say apart from 300 pound in donations um almost two thousand pound has, has been raised with bad sales so that's why um when myself or davy sales davy hall or darren or whatever are torturing you to buy the badges um the three pound badges they all mount up i mean every badge every badge we do um we've done five now every every badge gets gets you a 400 pound profit so i mean it, it, it's great so when we're torturing you outside the ground every couple of months um that that's where your money's going to and it's very much appreciated thank you i think everybody at the, the club can see the work you've done we commend you for that i'd just like to thank you and your colleagues for everything you've done so far thank, thank you. you very much thank you